Hello again, dear reader. It's been a while since I've recorded one of these. Uh, let's get right into it. Um, I have not uh, played Guess the Dot Game in a while, and, and I have to open with, uh, or I have to get to the archives by solving today's puzzle. My very first guess, I've been staring at this picture for a while while I ate some uh, Cheez-Its. Because you needed to know that. Um, <laughs> my first guess is going to be uh, Disaster Rip... Port four, and I only say this because this this looks like a city setting. Um, oh, this isn't a Japanese plug. This is a normal U.S. plug, isn't it? Whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we're in a garage. This couldn't be phasmophobia, could it? Cause that's the only one I know that takes place like mostly in a garage for like the lobby. No. This one was on everything including the wii u what would have come out on the wii u xbox one ps4 ps3 pc is this like a call of duty no was there ever a call of duty on the wii u i don't think so i'll just say like black ops maybe no black ops was already an option in one of them i think black ops 2 i don't know ctos C-T-O-S? I don't know. The fact that it's on the Wii U is so bonkers. What could it be? What is C-T-O-S? It sounds vaguely familiar. It looks open-worldy. There was like a big dam. And it took place in a garage, so... They didn't have a Grand Theft Auto on the Wii U, I don't think. What kind of world-ish games... Uh, no, Batman Arkham Asylum was already one. I shouldn't waste a guess, but... No way! Was this Watch Dogs? No shit! Watch Dogs was on the Wii U? I can't... I literally can't believe that. That was gonna be one of my guesses. Did I even say it out loud? CTOS. That really reminded me of Watch Dogs, but I didn't think it was on the Wii U! Anyway... Previous days. Today, we are going to do number 121 through, let's say, 150? That would be 30 of them, right? Yeah. All right, number 121. Let's go. It's some letters. Psychonauts? Wait, how is Psychonauts? Okay, it's in there. Yeah. Okay, this is like a 2D kind of looking game. Is this one of the billion Nancy Drew message in a haunted mansion? Nope. This is Professor Layton in the Curious Village. I'd recognize those tootsies anywhere. No, it was actually just the, uh, just the art style, the coloring. Oh yeah, here we go. Classic puzzle. Then you got the Inspector Zenigata guy here. Yeah, yeah, Professor Layton. I have twelve matchsticks. That joke is very old and probably doesn't track. I have 12 matchstick. If you can tell me what that's from, you are old and we probably shouldn't talk about it. What is this game? What game has plates like this? That bottle looks mighty destructible. This is a long shot and I don't think it's right, but what, what was that one John Woo game? John Woo presents Stranglehold. Nope, it wasn't that. Okay, we've got some kind of asylum behind bars here. I don't think it is that camcorder game. I can't remember the name of it. But what could this be? Um, I'm going to try, just for giggles, I'm going to try The Suffering. Nope. Is this Half-Life 2? Is this Half-Life colon 2? Oh, wow. I don't remember. Half-Life 2 didn't look like this, did it? Oh my god. It didn't look this bad, did it? <laughs> the jump between this and Half-Life Alex is astronomical. Oh, I didn't even look at the other pictures, did I? Uh, it was 122, right? Yeah. Yep, that would have gave it to me. That for sure. And then you got your gravity gun there, baby! Alright. 123. S... Assassin's Creed 1. Nope, I didn't mean 2. I meant number 1. Give me... Show me number 1. 
That wasn't it. Okay, Assassin's Creed 2. Stop it. Is it Assassin's Creed 2? Oh my god! The game was trying to, uh, was trying to funnel me into the right answer on the first try. Okay, yep, okay. That's Assassin's Creed, alright. They all basically look the same. <laughs> Ooh, man. This looks like a collect-a-thon kind of game. But what? which one stars like a weird wolf horse? It has like, what is this, Canada Tower here? Or maybe Japan Tower? Probably Japan Tower, right? I can't even make a guess. I don't, I, maybe I'll, not Spyro, but uh, what's what's the raccoon? Uh, Thievius, Spy, Sly Cooper, Thievius Raccoonus. Sim Simpsons hit and run. No shit. What is this animal? I, I honestly couldn't tell you what made me think, other than maybe just vaguely the colors and the shape of the car. I've never played Simpsons hit and run. Everyone says it's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, uh, that might have given it away to me. Obviously, the aliens and then Chief Wiggum and stuff like that. But, um. Hmm. Okay. I'll take it. Does this look like Grand Theft Auto 4 to you? No. Does, does it look like Grand Theft Auto 5 to you? Or to me, rather? No. Payday? Payday 2? Okay. Honestly, my very first instinct was Payday, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, pretty cool game. I only played like three hours of it total, maybe. Metal Gear Solid 2, colon, Sons of Liberty. I'd recognize... I recognize Metal Gear anywhere, especially the tanker. Yep, there's a Gerlukovich soldier. Yep, first person tanker portion in the in what is probably the room that you spent the most time in if you played this game, uh, learning the controls and just trying to get around this bend without getting uh, detected by the lasers here. Yep, there's Vamp. There's our good Romanian bisexual vampire, Metal Gear Ray, of course, and the classic shot. Okay, outstanding work. Oh, 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 uh, uh, d d d d d Harold Dubois, Harry Dubois, what's, <laughs> I can't, it's Disco Elysium. <laughs> of course that's Disco Elysium, it's the church, that's like the best scene in the game, the church. Christ, yeah. Man, Disco Elysium kicks so much ass. I gotta play through it again now that it has like full voice acting on all the, on all the inner monologue and stuff. Our boy. That's our boy, Kim Kitsuragi, right there. I, I, I'm still trying to find me a bomber jacket like his. This is ugly. What is this? Is this... <gasps> mm. Oh, this is... The, the, the Rocket Cart Rocket League, right? This looks like a sports field. Here's a trail of jet boost. That is where one of the power-ups spawns, right? Rocket League, yeah. Yep. Perfect. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> like, the equip screen is notable enough. Okay, cool, cool, cool. 130. Um... I, I skipped one because it was one I've already answered, but I don't remember if I did it on camera. I'll go, I'll go back to it in just a second. This, I don't know. I think we've already answered The Witcher for something. I would have said this is in the DLC. Is this Far Cry? Like the original? I don't think that's actually Far Cry Instincts. Oh, I'll try that. Nope. Is this like mist or something? Or like maybe Raven? Or no, Riven? Sorry. I'll try Riven, the sequel to Mist. Nope. Oh, this is the Dino Lansbury game. Dinosaur Angela Lansbury. What was that called? Tr tr 
triangle? No. Why does why why does triangle come to mind? Dino <laughs> crisis. No, what's it called? The stupid. Oh, because the logo is a triangle. Um, I'm gonna look it up. If you if you consider it cheating, uh, that's fine. But I, I just need to get the name. Um, Dino Survival Game. Thank you. I would not have come to the name Ark for a long time. Do you get why I thought this was like a mist or a riven or something? Because this wacky I. I didn't even know Ark looked like this technological thing here. Like, the rest of this is Ark to me. But not that. What was the other one I did? I, I've done... I think it was 128, maybe? Um, I nailed it on this guess, but I don't remember. Oh, was it a... It was a Red Dead or something. I don't remember, man. If I, if I miss a few, that's on me. This, uh... Yeah, City Skylines. I don't remember if I did this one on, on camera or not, but I uh, I got it on the third guess here because of all the roads. That game has a very impressive road technology. All right, 131. Now, Breath of the Wild was already an answer, right? Because I'm getting big Breath of the Wild vibes from this. Nope. Okay. Since that is not the case, we've got a very, very colorful game. I'm instantly attracted to what I'm seeing here. But what other games look like this? Is this like maybe... I would have said maybe a Jack and Daxter, but after the first game, those look pretty ugly and grim. What are these birds? Metacritic score tells me nothing. I'm going to skip. Xenoblade Chronicles, maybe? I'm still not convinced it's not a Xenoblade Chronicles. I'm gonna try maybe Xenoblade 2? Oh, okay. Hey, what's up, Paimon? Hail Paimon. She is from a game called Genshin Impact. That's... That's why I got the Breath of the Wild vibes! Fuck you! That's why! Okay, because we're playing a ripoff game here. Shit. Alright. Damn it. Ah, you got me. You got me, Genshin. You're so funny. But not funny haha. -ha. Funny weird Half-Life. Right? That's Half-Life. That looks like Half-Life. Or maybe it's Counter-Strike. Or it could be, um... Well, I'll try Counter-Strike. Okay, good. See, good old Counter-Strike 1.6. Eh, classic dust. Oh, dust. Has there ever been a better map than dust? There hasn't, because all of the rest of the screenshots are from dust. Outstanding. That's so funny. Wait a second. Wait a goddamn second. Is this... This wouldn't be a screenshot... If it comes up, we'll get to it. But I'm I'm suspicious of those early screenshots being from a different game, actually. And if you know, you know. And if you don't, that's fine. This is like a Mario Kart Wii, I think. Mario Kart DS, maybe? <sighs> Mario Kart... Because this isn't 8. Right? Mario Kart... Oh, Double Dash. Mario Kart Double Dash. <laughs> well, I knew it was Mario Kart, obviously, but... Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. This track... Is that Baby Park? It could be. Whatever. It's fine. We got there. We got there! 134. Contra? One? Well, it's not Contra 1. But what is this? What is this half? Oh God, that's Undertale. That's Sans Undertale. Hold on, what is this picture from? I guess that's kind of late in the game, then, isn't it? Yeah, that's Undertale, all right. <laughs> okay. This this actually kind of looks like Stardew Valley, but the the vibes are a little off. Okay. <laughs> there he is. There's our boy, Sans Undertale. We skip over City Skylines and go to 136. It's a rock, baby. It's a rock. 
Final Fantasy 15. How do you do 15? XV, right. <laughs> I don't think this is it, but I'm going to try it. Okay. Is this actually... What's that survival game? Rust? Okay. A different uh, survival game, like the dinosaur one. There's cards in Rust? I played Rust the month it came out and no further. This probably looks completely different from everything I remember. It was short-lived, but there were some interesting and emergent gameplay there. I could probably share stories about it one day. Huh. Okay, we've got like a machine here. Some weird coconut monsters. I'm going to go on a very wild limb, and I'm going to try Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Okay. It was not Nuts and Bolts, but it is a different kind of cartoony game. I don't know what this is. I'm going to try Knack. It doesn't look like Knack to me, but I'm going to try it. Okay. Is this some kind of strategy game? Oh, wait, 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 wait. The Viva, Viva Pinata. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I wasn't even looking at the Xbox 360. It just looked like an overhead game with, like, very cartoony style. It looked like Rare, which is why I thought Banjo-Kazooie. Because it's Rare, right? Yeah, developer Rare. Yep. That's what we... That's how I got there. Okay. Okay, we're doing pretty good. My mic's not muted, right? That would have been terrible. That would have been terrible to go all of this way and have it be muted. Ugh. You look familiar. What game are you? Are you... I'm going to try Dragon Quest. No, Journey of the Cursed King. No, that is eight. Okay. It was not Dragon Quest eight. I couldn't tell you why. Just, just what came to mind. Okay, we've got... A interesting camera angle very top down um animals walking on the street I, i've got nothing well i'll try maybe one of the weird sims game like sims maybe bust it out i don't know oh it's a we you know i've been playing this a lot lately this is cook serve delicious it's not cook serve delicious it's um too many cook under over overcooked <laughs> Overcooked. I literally started with undercooked on that last thought. Okay. Overcooked. 139. These monitors look like they belong in Team Fortress 2. Do we got it? Yes! Let's go! What? I'm so proud of my own brain sometimes. There are so many times in life that I worry that I am an idiot and that I have no real skills and that my brain just doesn't function right. But then sometimes it does. And I'm not saying that this is a skill. I'm not saying this is worth anything. It's it's literally just pattern recognition, right? Because I've, I've probably spent at least 100 hours in TF2, probably a lot more. So I would have seen this a billion dozen times. But yeah, sometimes sometimes you just get that million dollar baby moment, right? And it feels good when it happens. What the hell are you? What are you? What is this weird ice prison? What What's the spiritual sequel to Banjo-Kazooie called with that lizard? Um, yooka Laylee. I am going to guess yooka Laylee. It was not yooka Laylee. It is actually something Chinese-ish? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what this could be. I'm going to skip. Original platform. It was on so much here. What is this? This looks so cartoony, but then we get back to like a real world setting. And this homeboy's carrying a gun. And this is like modern times. This looks like... This looks like Sniper Elite. To me, like Sniper Elite 3 or 4. In the way that this town looks. Could this be Hitman? Could this be a Hitman, actually? Hitman 2 or maybe 3? I'm going to try 3. Hit, Hitman 3. 
Well, that would explain why this doesn't look the most familiar. I have not played Hitman 3 yet, but I intend to very soon, uh, probably on stream, maybe on YouTube stream, maybe maybe just for the channel in general. But yeah, that's a Hitman, all right. I'm bummed it took me an extra guess, but that's fine. It's not the worst thing in the world. Last, last uh, nine of these here. Happy birthday, and it's a happy birthday balloon in a weird canyon. Good grief. I'm, I'm gonna skip. Steamed broccoli flavor lanes. Okay. Lots of games do this thing where they, you know, take, take, um, brand labels and change them a little bit to make them funny. What games look like this, though? This gray, or this orange, uh, rocky, um, color filter and like happy birthday balloon i i can't figure it out oh oh i, I will try deus ex uh not human revolution but uh mankind divided well it wasn't deus ex what is this hive colony solutions oh it wouldn't have been deus ex because it doesn't have the gold filter over it the newer ones i mean what the hell is this? Um, re no, I've already tried Remnant, Last Remnant, Remnant from the Ashes, whatever it was called. The the one that just got a sequel announced at the Game Awards. What is this though? Like dystopia looking thing, and then a weird rocky canyon. What the hell are you? Are you? You know what? It was released two years ago. Um, it's not that dwarf game that I lost, because I lost the guess on that. Um, what the hell is this? Is this a Warhammer game? No, because Warhammer doesn't have, like, stuff like this. Oh, I'm going to lose this one. Oh, my God. No, you were Doom Eternal. Okay, the hammer makes a little more sense now. The green gun gave me a little bit of Doom vibes, but a lot of games kind of copy that. No, this is Doom Eternal. Shit. Oh, I got my ass handed to me. Look at my look at our little buddy. They put the Doom guy in Fortnite, and it is the best skin. And I have I I have an emote where I play uh, Master of Puppets, and it is it is a pure vibe. It is the most pure vibe in the world, especially when you play it after you get that victory royale. In the, for the, in the last person is forced to look at you play Master of Puppets. Well, that's a Hades right there. Um, I mean, the little ghosties give that away, plus the perspective, plus the art style. Yeah, that's a Hades. That also got a sequel announced at the Game Awards the other day. What a coincidence. You look like a tunic to me. Uh, show me tunic. Perfect. Only reason I would know that is just because I played a lot of it this year. Um, it sort of looks like a Zelda, I guess, but yeah. Hey, play Tunic if you haven't, specifically because of this screen. If you know, you know, and if you don't, you should. Play play Tunic and read the manual. All right, 144. What do you look like? You look like, uh, like a ship. You look like your PS2, maybe PS3. And you look like some kind of action platformer, maybe collector game. I'm going to try maybe a Spyro? Not not Sprio, but Spyro the Dragon. Let's try uh Ripto's Rage? I don't know. No, you're a rat shit and clank. Yep. Okay. See what did I tell you? Action platformer collectathon. I don't why did that I've never played Ratchet and Clank, any of them. I've never played a, a, a single Spyro, and I've never played um, the Thievius Raccoonus, the whatever that guy was called, <laughs> the, the Thief Raccoon. But I was able to like pick out the art style that they all generally tend to use, so I feel good about that. I've also never played a Crash. That's wrong. I have played um, one of the remastered ones that my wife was stuck on some stages, so I helped her out. Um, well, if the dragon or, or the dinosaur game wasn't already used, I'd say that's a big lump of dinosaur shit. But uh, it was already used, so we are gonna go with Elden Ring. Was that already an answer? Okay, <laughs> good, <laughs> very good. Yeah, it's one of those dung beetle monsters in a big gorge, 
yeah, in a swamp. That all, again, because I only played 100 hours of it this year, is the only reason I recognize that this particular screenshot right away. The rest of this, obviously, that's Elden Ring. But yeah, the little dung beetle. <laughs> Very good. Hmm. Is this like the Avatar game? Not Airbender, but uh, James Cameron's Avatar? <laughs> Is that an answer? James Cameron's Avatar in the game. I'm going to give that a shot. Okay. Um, I'm glad it was not. I've already tried Spore. That was another, like, first screenshot guess. So I don't think it's Spore. Is this Eternal Cylinder? I'm going to try Eternal Cylinder. Nope. Norman Sky? Is this Norman Sky? Because didn't I already guess that? Oh, no, it wasn't an answer already. Holy shit, okay. Hi, my name's Norman Sky, and I'm no man's guy. Dumb joke, but I love it. I did not come up with it, just so you know. This looks like a Sonic Adventure kind of thing. But I don't think there's any, like, sailboats in Sonic Adventure. Maybe this is, like, a Daytona? Ooh, no. No, this, this looks way uglier. Grand Theft Auto 3, maybe? Whoops! I gotta complete the word. Grand Theft Auto 3. No. Hey, 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 it's time to make some crazy money! Are you ready? Here we go! Crazy taxi, baby. Okay, yep. This looked distinctly Sega to me, which is why, or like arcade, arcadey slash Sega, which is why I went with that Daytona, and and the and the uh, Sonic Adventure. Yep. Okay, man, it's been a while since I played Crazy Taxi. Oh, and this is even screenshots from like the original version where they could use brands. Good, very good. One forty-eight is this Halo Infinite. I don't know. It's not Halo Infinite. Is this uh, Halo 3? Nope, it wasn't Halo 3. Is this Far Cry? Nope, Far Cry 3 was already an answer. Let's try Far Cry 4. Nope. Cry 5. Nope, it wouldn't be Far Cry 5. That one's set in, like, deep U.S. territory. There's no mountains like that. What is this? What are you, game? You are a shooter. You're PC only. PC only is a good clue. What do these screenshots remind me of? Is this Jurassic Park Trespasser? It is not. I'm gonna skip. Oh, it's Crisis, of course. We'll try Crisis 2, I think, takes place on an island. Nope, we're gonna try Crisis. Is this Crisis 1? Oh, shit. When did it come out? 2007? This is Crisis 1. Ooh, okay. That's where I got the Far Cry vibes from, because it is Crytek. Because they have very good water. Yeah, okay. Crisis and Far Cry 1 have a lot of similar island stuff going on. Yeah, okay. Okay, very good. 149. We got two left. This is Thomas Was Alone, right? Or is this VVVVVVVVVVV? Veni Vidi Vici. We're going to try that. Okay. <laughs> we got it. We nailed it. We're in there. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I should play VVV again. That was really fun. All right, last one for the day. A half hour into the recording. Is this um, Command and Conquer? Is this Command and Conquer? It's... Oh, StarCraft. Okay. It's StarCraft. Yep. Okay. Yeah, damn. I couldn't tell my rocks apart. Shame on me. Whoopsh. Yeah, StarCraft. And doesn't Command & Conquer also have crystals that look like this? Isn't that Tiberium? Don't they call it Tiberium? I've only played Red Alert. Oh, and only for a little bit, because I didn't have it myself. <laughs> yeah, that's a StarCraft, all right. All right. Was that our last one for the day? I think it was. Yeah. All right. That was it. That was it. We are good to go, folks. Um, of course, as always, tell me how you did. I, I love to hear it. I love to hear your guesses um, and how they relate to my guesses. And what was what was your million dollar baby moment? 
Not Million Dollar Baby, Slumdog Millionaire. Million Dollar Baby is a totally different movie that ends in a very different way. I think. I've never seen Slumdog Millionaire or Million Dollar Baby. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. I gotta get out of here. Thanks for joining me. We'll do more of these, you know, down the line. We've still got one or two uh, episodes worth. <laughs> and and uh, uh, take care of yourselves and bye. <laughs>